I'm Craig Abbott from Avaro. Here in Australia, the great southern land, working remotely is something that we are very accustomed to. Australia has amongst the lowest population density on the planet, and that means that critical resources often have to be distributed to sparse, remote communities. It is in this environment that, over 30 years ago, the Kingfisher was born, when a need was identified for a reliable process controller that could be used in remote, rugged locations. Kingfisher RTUs play a vital role in the distribution of water, of natural gas, and the monitoring of critical processes in the rail, telecommunications and aviation industries here in Australia. In this brief video, I will go over some of the key features of the Kingfisher Plus RTU and show you why utility industries in Australia, Asia and both North and South America choose Kingfisher RTUs for monitoring their critical process systems. First and foremost, the Kingfisher Plus RTU is a process controller. This is not a simple communications gateway, but a complete site control system. It is fully programmable using Isograph 6.5 an industry standard IEC 61131-3 platform. The system can manage hundreds of physical data points through a selection of analog and digital I.O. cards and can manage many more data points that are read or written through multiple copper or fibre communication ports. With up to 64 modules permitted in a single system, you can have the flexibility to mix and match the cards that you need to suit your project. There are many devices that can perform process control. So why select a Kingfisher Plus RTU? That decision is heavily influenced by where Kingfisher Plus RTUs are tasked with performing process control. Many devices involved in process control are installed on the factory floor in air-conditioned cabinets. The Kingfisher, unfortunately, does not have that luxury and is more often than not found in a metal cabinet on the side of a hill, exposed to the elements. And there are very real consequences to being installed in that environment. Firstly, there is a physical environment where, unprotected by a roomy brick hut or industrial donger, Kingfisher Plus RTUs are exposed to thermal extremes. Even here in Melbourne, where the weather is quite mild, our water industry customers have reported cabinet temperatures approaching 70 degrees C. We also use Kingfisher RTUs to monitor railway lines and city gas distribution networks in regions where temperatures plunge below zero every winter. The Kingfisher Plus, however, has been tested and proven to be operational while exposed to extremes from minus 40 degrees C to plus 85 degrees C. Another challenge for remote locations is the lack of reliable communications. Again, the factory floor typically has the luxury of high-speed Ethernet. But out beyond the black stump, the Kingfisher Plus has to make do with whatever is possible. This typically means narrowband and unreliable or irregular communication links. There is a layered set of solutions to this challenge, which include the use of multiple communications pathways, efficient communications protocols, and a local historian. The Kingfisher Plus RTU supports over 20 communications ports. This allows it to talk to multiple devices on site in parallel, as well as supporting several layers of redundancy in the communications pathway between site and the central control room. When you really need to get the data through, a typical critical site would have a primary and secondary backup link. With Kingfisher, you can take that a few steps further, perhaps a primary and then secondary radio link that is backed up by a microwave link that then fails over to a satellite link. Unfortunately, as you go all into these deeper links, communications bandwidth tends to get lower and costs go higher. For that, Kingfisher supports protocols that keep bandwidth low, which reduces your cost and keeps your communications efficient. Protocols like DNP3 and IEC 6870 are supported natively on the Kingfisher. In support of DNP3, each of the I.O. points on an RTU can be mapped directly to DNP3. There is also a DNP3 data point structure which can be utilised inside Isograph so that any value either a direct hardwired link or a calculated value in one of the algorithms on the RTU can be used and mapped directly to DMP3 points. The Kingfisher RTU also supports the timestamping of events so that for protocols that report on change, both the new value for the data point and the time the value changed are reported. 
This is a critical feature for remote sites on unreliable or temporary communication links. If there is ever an extended communications outage, then a historian populated with the timestamped events that can be automatically retrieved provide valuable information to operators on what occurred during the comms blackout. For some of our customers that operate and manage critical infrastructure, the historian on board the Kingfisher Plus RTU is a kind of black box. If there's an ever a catastrophic event, then the sequence of events timestamped with millisecond resolution can be an absolute goldmine for anyone required to perform a site audit. Now, another consequence of being installed in remote areas is the exposure to electrical events. This could be the weather, it could be the failure of an electrical component on site, like a pump or a motor or a generator. To protect the RTU against voltage spikes, there is 5,000 volts of isolation between the I.O. channels and the backplane. This protects the process controller when other site devices fail. If a Kingfisher RTU was monitoring and controlling switchgear or starting and stopping large motors and generators, then the failure of one of these assets can send a voltage spike through the entire site electrical system. The Kingfisher is resilient to these failures, so that when the things go wrong on site, it can at least continue to operate, report or log the sequence of events, and in some cases perform a controlled shutdown to a safe state. Sometimes failures can be major and a component within the Kingfisher may become damaged. Since RTUs are typically installed in remote locations, there are some sites where it could be days or weeks before a repair team can arrive to perform maintenance locally and safely. During this time, the Kingfisher must continue to operate to perform process control and remote monitoring irrespective of the damage that has occurred. To achieve this, the RTUs support many layers of redundancy. We've already discussed redundant communications pathways, but the Kingfisher also supports redundant power supplies and redundant processes. You can start with a single power supply and connect it to a rechargeable battery. With an AC or DC source, the Kingfisher will keep the backup battery fully charged and in the event of a main power failure, automatically cut over to the battery supply. For more critical assets, a pair of power supplies can be installed on a single backup plane where they will automatically operate in a redundant manner. These can be both AC supplies or DC supplies or one of each. The RTU will utilise one power supply and then instantly cut over to the other in the event of either power loss or damage to the power supply itself. You can also install two CPUs onto a Kingfisher Plus, which operate as a redundant pair. All data from the primary CPU is automatically copied across to the backup CPU every cycle. If the backup CPU ever detects that the primary CPU has failed, it will automatically assume control. There is no programming required for this, it's simply a matter of declaring that there are two CPUs on the backplane. Another feature that is important when things start to go wrong is diagnostics. What can the remote device tell you about its own status and all the I.O. points and communications ports that connect it to the local environment? The Kingfisher Plus has an integrated web server that provides information on the system health. In addition, the configuration package Toolbox Plus includes diagnostics on each module, tests for every I.O. point and communication link, and the ability to log all comms on a port to help debug communications issues. One of our customers, who manages a network of RTUs on remote islands, commented that the ability to remotely diagnose and resolve issues has saved him from very expensive travel on numerous occasions. The final point of consideration for your remote process control system is how you respond when things go catastrophically wrong. How will you respond when asked the question, just how fast can you get your system back up and running to 100%? At Avaro, when we think about the situations that our customers will face, we assume the worst. We assume that the first responder will have minimal experience, that they have probably forgotten most of their training and they simply do not have access to special tools. Fortunately, for the Kingfisher Plus, we've designed the system so that all that the first responder needs is the module that needs to be replaced and a screwdriver. Each module is held in place by a single screw, 
and perhaps for an I.O. module there might be two more screws so that you can quickly remove and replace the I.O. without changing any of the wiring. Each module has an LED to indicate its health so that you can quickly identify which is the failed module. Then it is a matter of removing and replacing the I.O. module in the rack. This can be done under full power without causing any damage to the I.O. module or to the rack. Every single card can be hot swapped. The I.O. cards, the comms cards, the processor card and the power supply cards. This allows you to get the system back up and running as fast as possible. In the case of the CPU however, there is one final trick up the sleeve. This is the CP35, the latest in the third generation of Kingfisher processors. And the back is an SD card. If you insert a micro SD card into the back of the unit during commissioning, then any time that the firmware or software is updated on the CP35, it will immediately clone the system. It will take a backup of the firmware and software and write it directly to the SD card. It will also take a backup of all real-time and historical data in the system every minute. When a first responder arrives on site, if they see a failed CP35, all they need to do is remove the screw holding the CP35 in place, remove the CPU from the rack, take the old micro SD card from the old CPU and insert the SD card into the new CPU, then insert the new CPU card into the rack. The new CP35 on boot up will ask if you wish to boot from the clone. This will then go through the standard restart procedure and update the system using exactly the same configuration and firmware as the prior CPU without the requirement for any special cables, software or a laptop. Here in Australia we have deserts, we have rainforests and we have snowfields and in each of these regions we have critical assets and critical infrastructure that require monitoring and process control and to meet the challenges of these regions we have Kingfisher a rugged and resilient process controller that Avaro has spent decades perfecting. Our customers around the world, in Australia, in Asia, in North and in South America, have selected Kingfisher for their remote process control needs. And we challenge you to select Kingfisher for all of your remote critical infrastructure process control.